Welcome back YouTube. This is Garrett from Garrett's Tech Lab back with another video and today this is probably my most requested video. We're going to add a third drive to our Alienware M15 R4 laptop. All right, thanks guys. This Again, you know, if you watch my other video when we added the second drive to our Alienware laptop, I use a Cerebrant. I've got another Cerebrant drive. This is the one terabyte uh, NVMe PCIe 2242 SSD. These are the really short ones. If you look at this drive, this one is a very small drive. All right. So this is what's going to go into the laptop. A couple of questions that people have asked me about these drives. Uh, there's a, I think Dell says that is a 512 gigabyte limit on their um, 2242 uh, drive. This is a one terabyte, so uh, we're about to find out, and uh, I'm almost positive it'll work, but we'll find out if it doesn't. If not, I'll send it right back and get a 512. But um, this will give me four terabytes worth of uh, data on my Alienware, which is just phenomenal, you know. I, I, uh, so I've got a one terabyte C drive, I have a two terabyte D drive, and I, I will have a one terabyte E drive. So, what I like to do is cover up my work area with my lap with the towel, only because I don't want to mess up my laptop. Here's the Alienware M15 R4, outstanding laptop. This is by far the best Windows laptop I've ever owned, and um, that's saying a lot. So, um, this has 32 gig of memory, which was the biggest issue with my uh, uh, R2. Uh, laptop it only had 16 uh, this one has a i7 but that i7 is configured as a um, i9 so the performance has been awesome still get thermal clocking uh, but you know that's just a laptop right so we're going to start by taking off these eight screws Here's the back. All right, so here's our layout. Uh, as you can see, I've already got two drives. Uh, this particular uh, heat shield came off of my R2, uh, so that's the only reason I have it in there. Um, I did not have an extra uh, heat shield in my uh, R2, and I never had a problem, but I just wanted to see if it'll fit, and guess what it did. All right. This spot right here is where we're going to install the SSD3. What we're going to do is remove the screw. So it does come with a screw. I get that question a lot. Are the screws included? Screws are included on all three. Uh, the laptop ships with screws for, in all three uh, SSD locations. This is just like the tiniest little screw. All right, so we're going to take that pin side in. And uh, when you look, there's going to be a slight bar. You want to make sure that you get that in the right location. You're going to insert at a slight angle, press in, and you should see that it lines up right there with the hole. We're going to take our screw, this little thing, and let's put that right back in there. You don't have to have it super tight. You just need a snug. Uh, anytime you're screwing into your motherboard, you don't want to t uh, tighten very tight. All right, so that's it. It's that simple. All right. Now, when you're putting this back in, you'll notice there's a row of tabs. Start with those tabs first. And then just kind of let it click on into place. Um, All 
All right. Well, that's that. That's thoroughly installed. Um, there will be a link for this particular drive, uh, provided it works, in the um, description below. Uh, right to Amazon. I'm not an Amazon affiliate, so I'm not going to make any money off of this, but I, I do want you guys to know that when you purchase that, it will work with your laptop. I'm 110% positive it will. All right. We've got the drive installed. The first thing I want to say to you guys is before you turn your laptop on, make sure you have no SD cards, no thumb drives, or any other drives in your uh, attached to your machine, because if you do, it will throw the driver letters off. And if you happen to have that problem, if you check adding a second drive, I kind of covered over how to change your drive letters. The easiest thing is to make sure you have no external drives attached or on your uh, laptop, okay? All right. Let's go ahead and get this drive. Uh, I, I like to reformat them even though I know they're brand new, but we're going to reformat it, assign it a drive name, and um, that's about it. All right. Um, this is Windows 11. It's not Windows 10, but everything is exactly the same from 10 to 11. So uh, on 11, the start button is actually towards the center of the screen. So in 10, you're going to go to your left uh, corner over here, and you're just going to right click on the start button. And this brings up all the admin features uh, for Windows. So let's go up here and click on disk management. You will see that we have a new drive E right here at the top. We're going to go ahead and right click drive E. We're going to type format. I'm going to call this photos. It's going to be my new photo drive in TFS. Um, that's fine. And I was hoping they had a small unit allocation size in 4096, but that looks like that's the smallest, so um, that's what we'll go with. And click OK. And it's going to give us a warning. Um, we're making sure it's not drive C, it's not drive D, it is drive E. Click OK. And it's in the process of formatting now. All right, it's done. So now if we come over here to uh, explore, and uh, this PC, you now see that we have a uh, free one terabyte photo drive. And that's gonna help free up some space on my D drive because I've got a huge amount of photos and they're all over there and I need to move them over. So um, that's it. Close everything out, shut the laptop. All right, YouTube, we've definitely confirmed that you can put a drive larger than 512 with this 2242 form factor in your laptop. And I'm was pretty certain we could. And I'm almost positive it'll support up to two terabytes. It's just that right now that two terabytes like over $300. So um, I went with the one terabyte. So this pretty much maxes out my laptop unless they come out with an awesome price on a two terabyte sum. Um, this is pretty much where I'm going to leave it at right here. If there's anything that you'd like to see done with this laptop, definitely leave a comment or a suggestion in below and I'll definitely uh, entertain those. Um, otherwise, you can definitely rest assured that this drive will work in your Alienware M15 R4 and you can buy that with confidence. Um, so as always, Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I do put up a new video. This is Garrett from Garrett's Tech Lab. Peace.